Hey guys, hello, hello. We are back again for another live fresh paint at two o'clock. My name's Kelly Weiler and you are at Girl Upcycled Studio. Welcome everyone. Um, today's live class is going to be an abstract floral painting. And let me show you just real quick what we're going to be painting on today. In case um, some of you are wondering, um, I'm going to be using, this is Artist Canvas Masterpiece Collection by um, Master's Touch, okay? And it is a 8x10, and I pick these up sometimes at Hobby Lobby. You can get them a lot of times when they're 50% off. They have a um, gallery wrap side, so the sides are nice and thick. These are the ones that I like to paint on, especially... Um, when I'm going to put them in a sale. So I have a total of three canvases here. I'm just going to break it down probably into two to three um, different classes. Um, hopefully my thought is to have all three of these cohesive so that they match so that it could actually be a um, collection or a set that could be sold together and hung on the wall as a collection. So that's my plan for today. So as you guys come rolling in, say hello. Hi, Tanya. How are you? So that I can see your name, see who's here. Definitely, if you're brand new, say hello. And just a quick disclaimer, um, this is a live video, so if you are on YouTube, um, I, I will be saying hello to people as they pop in, and I will be answering questions um, and all that good stuff. So that is what is good about the lives, is you get to ask questions, um, see the process from start to finish, and be here in live real time, and um, just experience that connection with people. In real life. So if you are catching this on the replay, you can always uh, fast forward just right at the beginning to get to the meat of the content. That is okay too. Or you could also check out my edited videos that I have as well. And I do have more edited videos on the way. So just wanted to um, put that disclaimer out there. Hello, Dubai. Hello, Mississippi. Um, Pat, Maya, Heather. Hello, Michelle and Kristen from Kentucky. So glad you're here. Um, so this is going to be an abstract painting. So I want to go ahead and start this off so that the layers can dry. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of just intuitive painting for this first layer. Hello, Kristen. How are you? She is from Kentucky. So let's get started. Let me pull the camera just a smidgen forward so that you can see. And let me maybe angle it down just a little bit. Hello, Tony. How are you? Okay, hopefully that'll be better. And I'll have to peek down at you like this when I need to speak to you. All right, so anybody else uh, painting this morning or y'all just watching? So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start off with got three colors in mind that I want to start off with my base, and that is uh, mint chip. I am starting off with the DIY clay-based all-natural paints. Um, I may throw in some acrylics as I go along. Um, a lot of times when I add my acrylics, I use them on the last layer. Um, or if I want something that I do not want to be able to reactivate and blend, then I will work in the acrylics with this. But for right now, I'm starting with the color mint chip. I'm starting with Fancy Farm Girl. And my favorite, who can guess? Old 57. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this on my plate. A little bit there and it's stuck. I do get, because there's clay in the paint, sometimes you'll get a little bit of thickness there on the bottles so and the thickness from the clay is actually really cool to use for artists as well because you can kind of um, use it for texture in your painting i love i'm a texture girl tanya says she is painting right now that is delilah designs if you have not checked her out you guys want to make sure you check her out 
Um, she has a great YouTube channel. She's a wonderful artist. And you guys, I'm going to have her on as a guest very, very soon. We are in the talks right now. Um, are, is there anybody out there that's curious about alcohol inks and um, art of that nature? That is what our show will be about when she is on with me. And I'm excited for that to happen. Hi, Kelly, and hello, Christine. All right, and Michelle Replogle there, if you wanna watch her, she is dropping all of the information about the products that I'm using so that you can easily find it, okay? Um, I think I wanna go ahead and wet my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use, I'm gonna use my Edge. This is the Edge from the Turquoise Iris. And I'm just going to start with that color. I think I'm going to start with my darker. I did dip into a little bit of water first. And I'm going to just put some pretty nice defined strokes, okay? Now, you guys... This is maybe a little bit different painting than what you've seen, but I want this to be abstract, okay? So um, it, it is gonna look a little different at first, but this is a very fun way of painting. I am trying to leave my brush strokes. I'm trying to paint a little bit thicker, okay? So that my brush strokes are left in there. And I'm doing that very, very thoughtfully. I mean, I'm not putting a lot of thought on the design part right now, but I'm putting a lot of thought into the way I'm just putting that um, paint on the canvas so that I'm just basically laying it on there. If you like, you could do the same kind of thing with a knife. So um, any kind of knife or I have a lot of these little spatulas that I use. They're catalysts. Um, or you could jump in and use like, um, you know, the metal knives as well. So there's no wrong way. Um, when is the alcohol ink video? Well, we are in the talks right now of getting that on schedule. So I'm thinking it may be next week, but we haven't confirmed, but it's gonna be very close. <laughs> going to be very soon. All right, so I'm going to get, dip into my old 57. And again, I'm going to random swatches in here. It's dripping. I don't care. It's fine. I'm overlapping it a little bit. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. How's your weather where you're at, guys? You having good weather? Because ours is really not too good. <laughs> it has been raining for days now. So that's all part of Ohio living, right? All right. So this is what I have. It looks like splotchy and messy and all that good stuff. That's just perfect, okay? It's in the 60s. Where are you at, Kelly? Yeah, I wish I would have had that nailed down, the date nailed down of the acrylics, uh, or I'm sorry, of the uh, alcohol. Tanya, what day is good for you? Maybe we can decide right now. <laughs> I would love for you guys to see that. Again, I'm just swiping it on. Not too worried about the brush strokes. I actually want brush strokes. We're gonna use the brush strokes to, uh, for our benefit, okay? That's kind of what we're doing.
very thick, I'm not blending. And you know, and if it doesn't turn out, what will we do? Wednesday would be perfect. Wednesday, yes. Okay, did y'all hear that? So Tanya from Delilah Design, she is going to be on, we're gonna be doing a alcohol, alcohol ink um, demo. So um, make sure that you put that on your calendars if you're curious to see that, okay? I love alcohol inks, guys. Um, gosh, I don't really, I may have to go buy some. I'm trying to think if I have any. Did I buy any? I have so many art products that I can't remember everything that I have. <laughs> If I don't get any, we will be able to at least watch her. It's cool, Kelly Morning. I would take it because you probably have sun in California. Um, no, I think she's meaning, I think she's talking about next week. Correct, Tanya? Next week? Next Wednesday. I believe. Hey Susan, so glad you're here. Hello Jill. Oh, you use it in your in your jewelry. How pretty. Okay, this is kind of where we're at. I think I see that very well. To be a close up. You can see how thick that I laid that on there. So I'm going to have to dry this for a little bit. It is hot in South Florida. I bet it is. My goodness. I don't know how you guys stand it. So I went ahead and got those edges really, really well. So let me go ahead and hit this with a dryer. Meanwhile, um, keep the comments coming. Also, make sure in the comment section that you um, give me anything that you would like to learn during these lives at two. I'm doing, calling it fresh paint, live at two, fresh paint. Um, so let me know what you would like to learn about. And if I cannot do it, I know I can find somebody that could come on here and um, teach. So you can order... Get them by Wednesday. Awesome, Marie. What kind do you use? If you notice, this is going to lightly, as it dries, it's going to lighten up just a bit. It is, right? Christine, I'm going to do three of these so that it'll be a, I'm going to do a collection. This will be a floral collection that I will sell, um, preferably together, um, all three of them. And they are eight by tens. Again, they're masterpiece collection. Um, they're the gallery style um, edges. They have stretch bars on them. They're very nice. They're the master's touch. They're a little bit more, um, but I would urge you, if you are creating art and you're selling it, splurge for the nicer canvas, okay? Okay, so Kelly Campbell Lavelle, I hope I'm saying that right, is saying, here comes the train. She says she struggles with what paint brushes to use, especially small and delicate ones. So let's talk about that for a second. So when you use small brushes, okay, um, let's see if I have anything even smaller. I use a lot of big brushes. More so than small. But that's just a prep, that's a personal preference. So, okay. 
so sometimes, are you talking for detailing? So there are liners that are really long and slender, okay? The liners are just for that. They're used for lining little details or putting in little like feathered, like if you're doing a feather and you want to do little fine lines to get the um, the flow of the, the feather or the flow if you're doing hair. Um, that is what like a long, long slender, like very few bristles would be. Um, and as far as getting details, you can even use, this is I think something that people do not realize. Let me see if I can find one that has a nice point. You can get a very fine point with a brush that maybe looks bigger. Maybe it looks bigger, but when it's wet, you can get a fine tip on it. You see when you roll that and I'm getting that little fine tip on the end, you can also use that as a little fine tip, okay? And when you glop the paint, okay, I noticed you said that you glop the paint. So what you're doing is you're probably pushing down really hard. So let me show you a little, um, a little bit what I mean, see if I have any. So I have my brush here, okay? So I'm gonna put it up here and we are going to, we're gonna do a really fine line. See how little that line is? You see how thin? I did not put any pressure on my brush, okay? I, I just was moving my hand without pushing down. So what happens if you get really good at at controlling your pressure of your brush, you can kind of like, you can make leaves this way. So you can start with this thin line and then you can lightly start pushing and then you can twirl your brush and then you can start pulling back up. You see that? That alone could be a leaf. A very natural looking leaf, by the way. Just by using this single brush, that yes, it's thicker on the end, but the very tip of it is thin. So um, my challenge to you, who was that? Kelly Campbell Wavell. My challenge to you is to just get a journal page, a journal book. I, I suggest that in my Creators Club, all of the members in there, the first thing they do when they come in is they go get a art journal. And that is something you can take with you to the coffee shop while you're having an afternoon at the coffee shop and just start doing strokes. Even with one brush, this one brush, you can get different looks with one brush, okay? I hope that helped you, all right? Meanwhile, this is dry, so we did good. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sprinkling the love out for me. That helps me grow and all that good stuff, so I do appreciate that. All right, let's use, I'm gonna go with some, a little bit of Orange Crush. Where is my spatula at? I thought I got one out, I'll just use my, oh goodness, this is getting a little hard. Okay, look how thick it's getting. This is actually great for, um, like if you wanna do a raised stencil or something like that, when the clay gets hard, all I'm gonna do is reactivate it with a little bit of water. It'll be good, good as gold, okay? So I'm gonna do a little Summer Crush, which is a spicy orange kind of color. Christine says she would love a class on brush techniques too. Awesome. Okay, well then, um, Christine, I will put that on the list. That is awesome. These are also things that we talk about a lot in my Creators Club. So um, if you are interested in becoming a member, it is a great, great club. It's an art club. Sometimes we're doing art on furniture. Sometimes we're doing art on canvas, but we do a ton of different uh, subject matter. 
and lots of good stuff. It's just a great community. So if you do want to join the Creators Club, um, I'll have Michelle drop a link. You can get on the list for when it opens. Or if you have questions, you can certainly um, sign up to get on the list to, for when it opens. Or you can e email me for any questions that you might have. Okay, so I'm going to use that. I'm also going to put... I'm just going to put some different fun colors here, florally colors, which I'm going to use my kissing booth, which is a beautiful fuchsia. Um, you can use that fuchsia color to make a light, a light pink if you mix it with white. So I'll probably put a little white on here too. Do a little vintage linen. If I can get it open. <laughs> Thank you. I love having you there, Christine. She says, I love the club. It is so worth it. Great ladies in there. Yeah, it is, right? Let me post that. It is. I love it. Wonderful, wonderful ladies. Each one of them. What is so cool is everybody kind of helps each other in there, right? <laughs> You know, kind of help each other along. Let's get it, get my plate ready. You guys, it's really my preference to use when I'm painting art. I love to paint. I love to use like um, a piece of glass or plexi or something like that is always great to use. Right now, I just grab my my uh, little paper plate because my my uh, main one, my main glass uh, palette is dirty. <laughs> so that's what it all comes down to. When is the joining time? I usually open up in the fall. Um, I have been telling people um, since the pandemic started, um, if you want in before that, please send me a personal message and talk to me about that. And I may um, let a few people in early. Um, I don't normally do that, but I, I also realize that people are lonely. People are depressed. People are, um, thriving, um, thriving, thirsty, maybe for commu like communicating with people and uh, connecting for people. I don't, I don't know the word to, to use that would be proper, but, um, it, you know, they're, they're hungry for that. They're hungry for connection. So, um, if it is something, you know, if you're having issues, you know, um, let me know. So, but fall is normally when I open. All right. So I have summer crush. I have kissing booth. I have vintage linen. I'm going to put some, Oh, I think this is it's like marquee little marquee any any of a brighter red will do um let's do a little cowgirl coral i'm almost out of this one so i'm just going to take it open my lid up a little bit getting low getting low and i'm trying so hard not to take many colors from my stash that I sell because you guys are ordering so much and I don't want to run out. So um, someone actually came in and purchased an old 57 right when somebody purchased it online and they didn't get it removed in time. So um, I am currently out of the eight ounce of the uh, old 57. I do have the 16 ounce in. What else do I want? Let me think. I may do some purpley tones too, but let me, let me just get this started and then I'll add more colors. This is enough to get me started. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lay out no rhyme or reason how my flowers are going to go. So let's see, let's just do this in. Let's just do this in the peach for right now. 
Um, I just grabbed a number 10 round brush. And I'm just going to kind of like messy. Just kind of no rhyme or reason here. If you can see. Uh, let's see. And I'm starting to talk to myself. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> do you guys do that when you when you're working or doing something? Yeah. A couple there. I am basically, like I said, I'm just outlining. Do this like here. I'm taking the flowers all the way around. I'm, I'm not worried about what colors I'm going to use yet, guys. Okay. I'm simply just laying in where I think I want everything to go. Let's do this one like up here. Let's do this a big one and it's going to come around. It's going to fill this whole side right here okay all right so that's kind of my guideline it's real rough it's a rough sketch if you're a beginner and this scares you you could always just kind of sketch it out with maybe um, chalk if you wanted to um, if this scares you in any way all right, so let's go ahead and maybe use show you some knives. Let me let me fill in first, and then I'll and then I'm going to jump in and maybe use some some knives. Okay, let's switch over. Where's my other? I'm going to go back to this brush from the Turquoise Iris. This is the Edge. I love this one. I think this is my favorite. Um, I do sell her collection of brushes. It, it comes in a full collection. Um, and I love them. They're very high quality. I have one left. I will be getting more in. So if you're catching this on the replay, you know, a year from now, I may actually, you know, I probably will have more in. So, but they're very nice. Um, this is the edge. So I'm going to just start laying in with this. And again, I want to just, I'm using those thick strokes, okay, as I lay in, thick strokes. And notice I didn't fully cover it. I left little peaks of that undercolor coming through. I'm trying to think of how many brushes she has. I think there's like five brushes in in that uh, collection, I want to say. It's really nice. So that's a good that's a good thing. If you are a an artist that's been dabbling and you're ready to get serious and start to upgrade some of your collections of brushes that's a good one to have on hand notice I'm just laying in there I'm loving the color combination already I knew I wanted it to be you know springy and happy and all that um the collection I believe Kelly I want to say it's 45 do you guys want to see it? I can grab it real quick. Let me grab it. It'll be quicker than one, two, three. Yeah, there's five. 
our five brushes in there. You know what? This one has little edge in it. So this one, she must, she must have two different, let me see. She must have two different sets now. So this one has a little edge. So it's, it's small. It's just like the one I'm using, but only smaller. Collection is 46 or six in a bundle. Okay. One, two, three. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know, Michelle, there's five in this one. So does she have does she have two different styles now? This maybe this is one of her older ones. I'm not sure. Does she have two styles of brushes that she sells? I, I need to reorder is why I don't know. I'm asking Michelle because Michelle knows her too. <laughs> I love them. They're nice. All right, so gang, let me let's let's start on another color. Let's do. I'm gonna do kissing booth. Um, let's just do. There are two sets. The magic pack six, and the team is fifty four, and there are five. Hmm. Then I must have the team, and. Okay, so she has added, I'm so out, I'm out of the loop. It's hard guys, it's hard. It's hard keeping up on all your friends out there in the places, isn't it? <laughs> see, that's like looking cool already and I just haven't even, do you guys see how messy I'm kind of putting this on? This is why I have, this is why we love Michelle. She keeps us like, don't you Michelle? <laughs> I think I'm missing some comments. I do too. Christine says, I love the turquoise iris. She's so talented. If y'all don't know who we're talking about, her name's Dion Woods and she is the turquoise iris. And you can find her on YouTube as well. In all of her, she has tons of just awesome videos. She's just very helpful. Okay. Let's do, let's do this. Messy, messy, but it's working. It's working for us, isn't it? And notice I'm putting it on thick like that, so it's really, it's already kind of like putting your kind of petal already in there, guys. Right? I only know because I ordered more yesterday. I need to totally get more. Yeah. Michelle, you can drop her um, in case somebody, I'm sure every, a lot of people in here know her on my YouTube, but if not, um, you could drop her YouTube link so people could find it and see her. So this is what we're looking. I mean, like literally, you see what we've done so far and look how it is. Hi, Marsha. It's already coming together with very little detailing yet, right? All right, so let's go in with, what do we want to use? Let's do a little. Let's go with a little bit of that orange crush. Probably got a little bit too watery, so I'm going to dip back in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you what happened yesterday. <laughs> 
You guys are gonna laugh at me. Um, so I did my live in here and then I had shipping to do, which took me a minute. And then I had um, to get my class ready for today because I'm teaching. I teach every Tuesday in my creators club, by the way. Um, so I was working on that. I lost my keys it, here in my studio. Totally lost them. I was stuck here for like two extra hours. <laughs> oh, I'm just like, Kelly Weiler, what is wrong with you? Yelling at myself. And finally I was like, okay, I need to pray. <laughs> seriously, seriously, I was like, okay, Jesus, I know you're probably busy. I am so sorry to bother you. I really need help finding my keys right now. <laughs> And so I just sat there and then, and then I got up a few minutes after sitting there, I got up and I was like, okay, I just need to start looking again. So over to the couch, I went not there, but as soon as I put the, put the cushion down, my eyes went right up. It went directly across the room to where my iron orchid design stock is in the spark from the keys went boom and caught my eye. And there they were. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I could have been here all night. <laughs> I literally thought my husband, who um, he's he was on second, he is on second shift. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to wait till he gets home for him to pick me up. <laughs> Is that the funniest thing ever? It, right, Tanya, for real. I was like, I know this sounds stupid. I felt embarrassed. I'm like, oh, you know, and I was just like, oh my gosh, God has got to be, you know, God has a sense of humor because, you know, I look at myself and I'm like, okay, I know you're laughing right now. I would be too. Girl, get it together, girl. All right, so okay, at this point I said I was gonna use a knife, so I'm gonna change over. I'm gonna grab a knife. Let's see, which one do I want? I'm just gonna experiment with some. I've got all these different knives, and so I just kind of like to experiment. This one has a little rounded tip on it. Awesome, thank you, Jesus. I know, right? It, it was neat how it happened because it sparked it sparked the it being my keys and caught my eye <laughs> I'm telling you what it works y'all it works I'm just gonna ask ask for some help like why didn't I do this 20 minutes into looking for my keys you know I think that don't you guys feel like God just does that just to remind us like, yo, you know you need some help here. <laughs> okay, let me show you what this is doing. This is putting some texture in. Even a little more. And that is Orange Crush that I'm using over top of the, the coral. Hopefully, are you guys picking up the music? I don't know if it's, hopefully it's not picking up. Hopefully it won't um, hear it on my feed. Don't let the uh, sound of the, the train go is, is okay, but they don't let music on the videos, so I gotta be careful. So you can cover as much or as little as you want. Um, I ask my guides to help me too. I pray to St. Anthony, Saint of Lost Items, hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> Hi, Nikki. 
True. Prayer works, guys. All right, let me... Okay. We keep them busy with all our shenanigans here on Earth, don't we? <laughs> I like that one better, the one that I just did, because it has a little more um, coral peeking through, and so I'm going to just go back in... And I'm going to grab, I'll grab a little coral and I'm going to place it right back in. Okay. So this is the kind of the part where it gets a little fun when the paint gets thick. You can literally use it to your benefit. So I'll try to hold this to the side so you can see. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn my... Maybe you weren't supposed to leave. Maybe he was keeping you there longer. That's how I think some... Right, I think that too. Like maybe, you know, it could have saved me from being in an accident or... Um, or maybe, maybe I just needed to clean this place up a little bit. <laughs> that that very well could have been. <laughs> you have been painting for a brush for years, and you find it super hard to use a palette knife. Oh my goodness, give it a try, Martha, because a lot of times, especially in my club, I have found that um, a lot of the members find it easier. Um, Uh-oh. I'm going to turn that off. Sorry about that, guys. Hmm. Okay, so I am mixing a little bit of vintage linen into my um, into my fuchsia pink, which is called Kissing Booth, and it's making just a really nice mixture here for this little flower. And I need to mix up a little bit more, so let's do that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I would I would encourage you to. Give that a try again. Um, was it Martha? Give that a try. Don't give it up. Um, brushes, um, the knives are actually a little bit easier. So I'm gonna in. And you're mixing it. You can see how well it, easy it just mixes. I'm just using my little spatula. You don't even have to mix it all the way. And sometimes when you leave it kind of halfway mixed, it leaves a very a variegated color form, if that makes sense, in on your knife, which is kind of cool, right? Especially when you're trying to make uh, petals. So I'm just barely even touching. So the key to it, guys, is when you are using the knives, you're basically just laying it on top. You're not mixing. You're just laying it on top. It's called impasto painting, this style. It's super fun. I love it. I'm really happy with the color combination. Yes, me too, Christine. Yes. So tonight in the Creators Club, ladies, we are doing a doing a farm animal theme. So we're going to do um, a really colorful 
I guess it's a chicken. I don't know if it's a rooster. I'm really bad about knowing what's what, but it's very colorful and it's in the chicken family. Hi, Susan. That's okay. Hopefully, um, I'm hoping you ladies can come in tonight during the six o'clock class, those of you that are members. I notice a lot more people are using furniture purpose to paint for art. Yeah, well, it it's natural. It's highly pigmented. You can paint with your fingers if you want to. Um, it matches your furniture if your furniture happens to be painted this color. Okay. Um, these would look amazing on a gallery wall. Yeah, so I'm hoping to do like a whole series here of this. We will see. And then my next flash sale will be up for sale on that or on my website. So there's the added orange tone. And you can kind of go as thick as you want when you're when you're working with the knives. Now something else. Now I I am not using a texture medium, okay, right now, because some of my paint is kind of thick, and so I don't really necessarily need it. But if you need to thicken up your paint, like if you're using something that is a little more liquefied, um, you can get a texture medium. I thought maybe I had it sitting here, and I don't, but you can get a texture medium. Liquitex makes one. Um, there's like uh, full body glosses that you can use and all that good stuff. So, um, so if you feel like your paint is too runny to try this, then just throw some of that into it. And then you're good to go. Very nice and springy. Michaels will occasionally have buy one, get two free. You guys talking about where to buy your canvases. This, this came from Hobby Lobby, it was on sale. Make sure you get your edges too, gang. Okay. All right. So, all right. Let's uh, let's clean this off. How are we doing on time? We're at fifty-one minutes. We're doing good. Doing good. I forgot my little flower up here, didn't I? Finish that one real quick. Okay. Let's do, I've got a little bit of that red. This is, let's see if I want that in here. A little bit of marquee. I'm just going to add a little touches here and there. Thank you. 
Is that a level three? A level three. A level, wait. Oh, I t you're talking about the, the canvas. And uh, it's probably a two, I would want to say. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I'll decide. Um, what I like to do is I'm going to do a series of three of these and then I'll kind of like put them together and kind of see how they, how I like them. So, okay, so let's do the next step because it's kind of fun and it's different and I need a new plate. All right. I'm going to put some of that vintage linen on my plate here. All right. And I'm using one of my catalyst tools. And let's just see how we can. Oh, you guys can't see, can you? It's going to be hard to do upside down, maybe. Scrape. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of creating a leaf shape from the background. I think I need, need like a smaller knife. Let me see. A small one. That's my favorite. My favorite one is always missing because I use it so much. Hold on. This is not my favorite one, but I'm going to use this one. It's the smallest one I can find. I'm so used to working on larger paintings. See that one? Use that. Okay. I'm going to kind of make these little leaf shapes using, it's called um, negative painting. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like here when I get done. And if it mixes on you, just simply wait till it dries if, it, if you're having trouble. Is, is, the, is this picking up the music, you guys? I'm going to buy you a bunch of smaller knives so you can at least find one when you need it. I know that one that I like, my favorite one, I just need to like totally buy five of them. I seriously think that's why I lost my keys because God was like, girl, clean this table up before you leave for Pete's sake. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, you know, it's like you're busy, busy, busy. And then... Is it picking it up very well? Like, hopefully it's not going to be a, hopefully they won't shut my feed down. All right, I'll have to. 
Mm. All right. We'll see. Hopefully it won't. I hate that too because I love to have music on while I'm working. You know. Okay, so let's do like let's do one here. Um, it's it's from the basement, so. It must be jamming. Whoops. See, it's not all the way dry. You can see it just wet a little bit. So you need to be careful if you are brand new at this. Um, I would let it dry before you do this layer. So this is called reverse negative painting is actually what it's called. And I just, I think it's fun. Let's do another one like here. I need to turn it around so I can see it. And it gives it a little more texture by doing this. You wouldn't even have to do this if you like it just the way it is. It's up to you. It's always up to you because you're the artist, right? You are the creator of your own work. So you kind of just have to follow your heart. Can you kind of see the leaves that I put in? <laughs> um, why can't I? New comment. Weird. Music just pops in. Okay, good, good, good. Download the free music. You can play it in the background from a different device. That is a wonderful idea, Heather. I should do that. Hey, hello, Kristen. I'll go back and watch this. Awesome. So this is what it's looking like. And I think, don't forget your sides. I think I need a little, um, where are we at? We're all, we're all right at an hour. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, let me put a leaf down here. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. I just can't do this upside down like this, not this one. A little tricky but I will have a whole series of these so I will be doing these live with all of you hopefully so if you're you want to see you know more um, so I have to tune in your sides again see if see if you need to add I think I'll do a another one here so those of you in the creators club we are doing a chicken a rooster I don't know the difference can somebody help me I thought it was a rooster but maybe it's a chicken I don't know I'm a country girl, I'm not a farm girl. <laughs> All right. My neighbors um, and my a friend of mine, and they happen to be my neighbors, 
they just got these chickens and all the chickens are running loose and they it makes me happy when I go home and sometimes they're like scurrying across the room or the room scurrying across the yard and they'll like run across the street and now it's like the big joke is why why did you do that why did you go across the street you know my daughter's like okay mom enough it's not it's not funny anymore mom <laughs> I'm sorry but I think it's pretty funny we can finally find out why. I know. I amuse myself. I have to. Okay. So, guys, this is how it's looking. Boom, boom, boom. This is the side of it. Um, I will, I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'll probably do a little more, a little more, um, definition to the leaves so that they kind of definitely, you know, kind of pop out and maybe do something. So when I look at this, you know, you hear people talk about the composition of, of the painting and I'm seeing a big white hole in the middle of this. So my next layer i'll go in and do some detailing and do some things to where it'll pull it all together so it's a little more cohesive but i think it's a great um we got great bones going on here so we just need those finishing touches so anyway gang hope you enjoyed it i'll try to give you a close-up you can really see some of the depth right there That kind of shows you what what it does close up using a knife. So um, I hope that this has encouraged some of you to pick up some artist knives. Um, you can try them. Like I said, there's you can use brushes, you can use knives, you can use the catalyst. Um, but whatever you do, just try different things because that is how you're going to find out what works for you and what you love. So make sure if you love it here on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you get notified of my next video. And until tomorrow at two, um, have a great night and keep creating. See you guys back here tomorrow. All right. Bye everyone.